Hi, this is Richard Byrne. In this video, we're going to take a look at five neat things you can do with Google Drawings. Now, if you're not familiar with Google Drawings, you can find it by going to drawings.google.com or in your Google Drive dashboard, select it new and drawing. Now, the first thing we're going to look at is the image cropping feature available inside Google Drawings. So let's go up to the image option and we'll be able to pull a picture from our Google Drive, from any of our stored albums. We can do a search or we can upload an image. I'll upload this image here. And now to crop the image, I'll go up here and select crop image and I can shrink down from the top and cut from the bottom and I can cut from the sides as well and click off the screen and I've saved it. While I'm there I can also go in and I can add a shape around it. I want to round out the image and I can also put a border around that image. I can even change the border color if I'd like. And there's my new cropped image. And I can now save it as a new image. Go into the file menu, download as, and select JPEG or PNG file. I can also apply an image filter. This is the second thing I think is really neat about Google Drawings. So once I click on that image again, I'll go to image options. And I can select any of these filters to apply to my image. And I can now adjust the transparency of that, the brightness, and the contrast of my image. And if I am unhappy with how that went, I can reset the adjustments and go back to square one. Now the next thing we'll look at is the option to do image commenting inside Google Drawings. I'm going to remove this image and here's a nice little activity for the classroom. I'm going to insert an image from my desktop here and this image that I'm going to insert is a diagram that I want students to label. It's a diagram here of the solar system and I'm going to share this And I'm going to select can comment on the image. And I can let students now click the comment function and write in writing comments about the image. Or if I go back up here and select share, I can say they can edit. And once they edit, they can then go in and use the drawing tools. Let's select a line and have them draw a line onto the diagram and that's a very faint line it's going to get washed out in the background so let's select the line again we'll change the color of the line to make it stand out we'll also change the thickness of the line and now if I want my students to label they can put in a text box here And they can write in Earth. Now, of course, they can always change their font. And because this is a file shared in the Google Drive environment, I can go to File, See Revision History, and I'll always be able to see which students applied which labels. Now, if you want students to label the diagram individually, you might distribute this through your Google Classroom and have each student make their own copy and label their own diagrams and then share it back to you either as a Google drawing or download it as a standalone image again and return it to you that way. Now we'll remove that image and our text and clear everything out here and look at another feature 
of Google Drawings, and that is the Word Art feature. So we'll go to Insert, and we'll select Word Art. We'll just type in a phrase or a title. Now, what's different about Word Art compared to changing your font is that I can customize the borders around my font. change my line colors, change the style of the border, and if I click and drag, it will change the size and shape of my font. Now I'm working with a base Arial font, but if I use the Georgia font, we'll see I can manipulate that font as well. And so that's different than just changing fonts. This is actually customizing the look of the writing. And again, I can save that as a standalone image. We'll clear that out. And our last tip here for Google Drawings is the option to create charts inside Google Drawings. So we'll do this again. We'll go to our insert menu and select chart. Let's choose our chart type. Perhaps we want to do a bar graph. We can click and drag and expand that. Now if we want to customize this, we'll select Open in Sheets. And here we can change any element we like. We can call it Team A, Team B, Team C. Team D. We can change our points. We can change our headers up here. Period 3 and period 4. If we want to change our colors, click on the line and they can change those colors. Now back in our drawing, we'll select update and we have our new version. And once again, we can download that as a PDF, PNG, or SVG file. So those are five things you can do with Google Drawings that students often overlook or are not aware of. For more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com.